we have Z5 Photos, expected Z6 and Z7 release time frame, but wonder when we're going to see the Z8. And we're also worried about Nikon's future. Let's get into it. Delivering informative capability-based reviews and tutorials on camera gear, filming techniques, and content creation. Hi, I'm Simon and this is The Ordinary Filmmaker. If you're new here, subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss out on any news. And all the links to everything I talk about in this video, including gear discussed, are placed in the description down below. But before I get into today's topic, just a brief reminder that I'm giving away this Canon EF 50mm f1.8 lens. Contest ends July 31st. Subscribe to my channel for your chance to win. That's it. I do have more contest details in the description down below, or you can watch this video here. According to Nikon rumors, we'll get an incremental update to the Z6 and Z7 in the fourth quarter of this year. Now, both cameras will have the same sensor. Uh, they'll have dual SD card slots and be capable of 4K 60 frames per second. Actually, let's change that. They'll have dual card slots. I'm just not 100% sure if they're going to be SD at this point. Hopefully, Nikon improves the viewfinder lag, auto white balance, and metering issues. Um, image stabilization jitters still need some work, but again, no camera's perfect. Now, perhaps Nikon will take Fuji's approach and provide general all-around improvements, delivering a much improved user experience. The Z6 and Z7 are good cameras, but Canon's releasing the R5 and the R6, Sony's releasing the A7S III, Nikon needs to deliver some sort of wow factor to get enough attention to drive sales forward. They need to do this if they want to attract more than the Nikon faithful. Now, the Nikon Z5 is expected to have dual UHS 2 card slots, a 24 megapixel sensor, IBIS, 4K, but with a 1.7x crop factor, and all this thanks to Nikon Rumors. We don't have any new specs, but we do have photos courtesy of Nikon Rumors. We can see the front of the Z5, the top, and the back as well. Now this camera is expected to be announced somewhere towards the end of July. I'd imagine this would be after Sony's announcement, but anything can happen as we've, as we've already seen this year. Now I hope Nikon releases another camera alongside the Z5 to stir up the market. Sadly, we haven't heard anything about the Z8 in months. Both Canon and Sony are coming out with powerful cameras aimed at professionals and amateurs alike. Canon's announcement is Thursday. Sony is expected to follow in about 10 days. With the Z5, the only camera expected from Nikon this summer, it's not looking so good, but keep in mind, these are rumors. Now, if only the Z5 didn't have that 1.7x crop. If only it could do full sensor readout. If the Z6 and Z7 receive minor updates this fall, it's not looking so good for Nikon. Olympus already sold off their camera division. Companies that are on the edge release cameras with minor updates, hoping to drive revenue and maintain their existing customer base. I hope the Z8 is in the cards for a summer update, and I hope it impresses. I like Nikon. I want to see Nikon flourish, but Nikon's been having a tough go of it for years. They've been losing money, laying off staff, and cutting back on research and development, and we've got the worst global economic downturn since the 1930s. Nikon needs to update their line with more than a minor incremental update. I wish this was more of an upbeat story. A camera world without Nikon just would be a, well, it would be, it would be a sad place indeed. No one could have foreseen the depressed year that we've had. It's challenging for everyone. Even Canon has laid off staff recently, and this despite the constant media attention around their new cameras about to be unveiled. Nikon's future is on the line. I hope they're around for many more years. What do you think? Will we get the Z8 alongside the Z5? Will the Z5 be enough to drive sales? Will the incremental updates to the Z6 and Z7 drive enough excitement, or is an aggressive update needed? Let me know in the comments section down below. Tell me what you think Nikon needs to do to deliver and stay in business. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win this Canon EF 50mm f1.8 lens. Even if you're a Nikon user, you could always sell it on eBay. Thanks for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. All equipment used and notes are placed in the description box, show more box, or down arrow thingy next to the title on the mobile app.